Okay, let's go to page 18. Changing numerical values. Let me click on a level adjustment layer here on the bottom. Remember, this is a two-dimensional view of this image that's got three layers on top of it. Okay, and there's the background copy. We're looking at the edge of the image with those analog example of clear plastic overlays on top of it. And so that's what we're looking at there. Back to changing numerical values. There are three main ways to change the numerical values in Photoshop, various tools, adjustments, and functions. The first is the one we're all familiar with. You take your left mouse button, hold it down, and I could drag from left to right. So don't pay attention to what you see in the way of color and contrast in the image. That's not the point. So that's the first way. The second way is with your cursor placed in the numerical value box below it. And I just clicked in there. You can see it's highlighted. You can see the flashing cursor. I use my up and down arrow keys, which is really nice for fine tuning. So you can think of the slider that I did the first time by holding down the left mouse button and dragging it as a course adjustment and then clicking in the box below that slider and adjusting with my numerical up and down keys. You can also insert an actual value in here, but I can tell you that it's been years, maybe even decades since I've actually done that. You can see the example on the picture of page 18, pretty much what I just did there. And if you're doing this and you're using the arrow keys or what have you, you can tab between the various keys. Right now I'm in the black point slider. And if I want to make an adjustment with the arrow keys and the next one over, I can hit the tab key and the tab key again. I can also hit shift tab and go back and, and forth in those. Okay, let's go to the cursor, page 19. Don't like the mouse cursor shape as it shows in your image. Now, of course I have a red, let me move that for a second. If you don't like the cursor as it shows in your image and you can't seem to find the cursor or you just keep clicking on the image and something happens that you don't expect it, well, simply change the tool in the tools panel uh, to something less likely to give you a weird result if you click accidentally your image. So for instance, the move tool I like because it's easily visible. You can see it all over the place. And if I click it, nothing's really gonna happen right now. I also like the hand tool, which is right down here in the tools panel. And again, the same thing, it's very, very easy to see. But let's say I have the magic wand tool and I accidentally click there and I go, oh my goodness, what just happened? Well, all you did was you made a selection when you didn't want to. So you can go back in your history panel and click on the one above it and then choose another cursor, in this case, a magic tool and carry on doing your business.